Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see Calvin cycle in brief. We already know that for the dark reaction or the carbon fixation to happen, that is carbon fixation means conversion of the inorganic carbon to the organic form. It needs some energy. From where does this energy comes from? The answer is simple, that is the light reaction. Light reaction will provide energy for the carbon fixation or dark reactions. That is the end product, end products of the light reaction. End products of the light reactions, ATP and NADPH in turn drives the carbon fixation or dark reactions. The light reaction is so happening in the thylakoid region of the chloroplast while the dark reactions is happening in the stroma region of the chloroplast. Then coming to Calvin cycle. Actually this Calvin cycle was discovered in 1950s by three scientists. They were Melvin Calvin, James Bassam and Andrew Benson. That is why the Calvin cycle is also known as CBB cycle that is Calvin Benson Bassam cycle and it is also known as C3 cycle because the first stable product of the Calvin cycle is a 3 carbon compound that is why it got the name C3 cycle then it is also known as reductive pentose phosphate cycle or photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle why because this pathway that is the Calvin cycle decreases the oxidation state of the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is having an oxidation state of plus 4 and this state is uh, decreased to levels found in sugars that is plus 2 in keto group and it comes to 0 in secondary alcohols. That is why Calvin cycle is also known as photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle because the oxidation state is decreased. The main inputs for the Calvin cycle is the carbon dioxide, ATP and NADPH and the final output is the triose phosphate. The carbon enters the Calvin cycle as carbon dioxide and leaves the Calvin cycle as sugar. ATP is the energy source and NADPH acts as a reducing agent that it will provide high energy electrons to form sugars. And coming to the stages of Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle has three main phases that is the carboxylation phase, reduction phase and the regeneration phase. In the carboxylation phase, the carbon dioxide acceptor molecule that is the RUBP is being carboxylized to form 3PGA phosphoglyceraldehyde and then comes the reduction phase where this uh, PGA is reduced to form triphosphate and in this step most of the ATP and NADPH are used up. And then this triosphosphate, one of the triosphosphate is exported to form glucose and other compounds and rest of the cycle convert the carbon carbon in the triose phosphate back into the 5 carbon acceptor molecule that is RUBP. Here is the regeneration phase that is the carbon in the triose phosphate it converted back to RUBP in the regeneration phase. Carboxylation that is the first enzymatic step in this cycle where carbon dioxide and water uh, reacts with the 5 carbon acceptor molecule that is the RUBP ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate and it generates two molecules of 3 carbon intermediate 3 phosphoglyceride and next this 3 phosphoglyceride is reduced is converted into 3 carbon carbohydrates that is the triose phosphate in the reduction phase by the enzymatic reactions and it is driven by the 
ATP and NADPH that is the photochemically generated for ATP and NADPH triose phosphates are formed and triose phosphate is exported from the Calvin Benson cycle and it is converted to starch in the chloroplast or being exported to the cytoplasm for the formation of the sucrose and then comes the regeneration phase in regeneration phase the regeneration of the starting material that is the RUBP carbon dioxide acceptor molecule RUBP is regenerated that is a here comes a complex of serious reactions that rearranges the carbon skeletons of the G3Ps that is the triose phosphates and three RUBP molecules are formed here ATP is utilized and about 10 enzymatic reactions were in this phase that is in the regeneration phase when three molecules of carbon dioxide enters the Calvin cycle about six G3P molecules were produced we already said that one triose phosphate is exported for the production of sucrose and starch the rest five are recycled to generate RUBP that is the carbon dioxide acceptor molecule this RUBP is regenerated to begin the cycle again. Here is a summary of the Calvin cycle. Three molecules of carbon dioxide combines with three molecules of ribulose bisphosphate, that is the carbon dioxide acceptor molecule, making six molecules of G3Ps, that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or triose phosphate. From the six molecules of G3Ps, one G3P molecule exit the cycle and goes towards making glucose and the rest 5 G3P molecules are recycled regenerating 3 RUBP acceptor molecules. In total 9 ATP are converted to 9 ADP. Most of the ATPs that is 6 ATPs are fixed are utilized during the reduction phase and three ATPs are utilized during the regeneration phase. That is conversion of the triose phosphate to RUBP. Six NADPH are converted to six NADP plus during the fixation step. That is reduction of the PGA to triose phosphate. A G3P molecule contains three fixed carbon atoms. So it takes up two G3P molecules to build a 6-carbon glucose molecule. That is, it would take 6 turns of the cycle or 6 carbon dioxide molecules are needed to produce 1 molecule of glucose. For the production of 1 molecule of glucose, 18 ATPs and 12 NADPH are needed. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel.